If you try to join our latest raffle with this challenge question, or you just want to learn how to solve that, this video is for you. Hi there! Thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. Again, ito ay explainer video ng challenge question na ito which I posted last week. And of course, announcement din ng ating mga winners this week. I'll try to keep posting as many challenge questions like this habang naka-community quarantine tayo. It's a great way for me to interact with you, see if you're learning, and of course, for you to win uh, some small prizes lang din from our team. So, thank you so much uh, for joining sa lahat ng mga sumali. At i-explain ko na sa inyo kung ano yung tamang sagot right now. Now, after yung question natin, sabi, find x if 2x squared is to 168 as 21 is to 36. Okay? So, i rewrite ko lang dito sa gilid para we can start solving it. This is a ratio problem. And uh, actually, there are videos here on YouTube that could help you understand kung paano ito isolve. And ang pinaka-helpful na video would be yung ating ratio rotation video. Yung updated version shows kung paano kayo mag-solve kung may mga letters involved. Kasi in some aptitude tests like OPCAT, uh, instead of numbers lang ang nakalagay may mga letters. So, nakakombine yung rules ng equality at saka yung ratio rotation. And I showed that dito. So, if you're watching this on YouTube, you can click on the I button. And if you're uh, watching this naman on our Facebook page, uh, the links will be in the uh, comment section at doon sa ating description. Okay? Now, ito yung problem. All we have to do first is to match yung magkakatapat doon sa ating fraction. Kasi yung proportional problems like this, ang unang step dyan ay gawin siyang fraction. Now, ang ating rule is kung ano yung magkakatapat, sila dapat ang magkakatapat doon sa fraction form. So, we have yung first here with the first dito sa kabilang side at yun namang last here sa last sa kabilang side. Okay? So, tapat, dapat yan. So, to rewrite this, this is going to give us 2x squared over 168 tapos equal siya sa 21 over 36. Okay? And now that we have that, we can start solving yung proportion problem. Ngayon, uh, you can do yung cross multiplication na tinatawag like this. Okay? which will give you yung equation na 2x squared times 36 tapos is equal to 168 times 21 and then solve for that. Pero sa akin kasi, kaya nga ginagamit natin yung ratio rotation kasi masyadong malalaki minsan yung mga magiging resulta na numbers here. So, minsan pag kayo ay nag -e exam uubusin yan yung time ninyo. So, ang best way is for you to check muna kung pwede akong gumamit ng techniques para mas paliitin yung mga numbers involved. Now, if you see right here on 21 and 36, pareho silang divisible sa 3. How do I know that? Kasi ang 2 plus 1 is 3, which is divisible by 3. Ang 3 plus 6 ay divisible by 3. Ang 9, so, ibig sabihin pareho silang pwede kong i-divide sa 3. Now, yun ay part ng ang factoring techniques natin. I also discussed yung mga speed techniques na yun. So, kung paano malalaman kung ang number ay uh, pwede mo i-divide sa 4, sa 5, sa 6, sa 7, 8, and 9. And if you haven't seen that, nakalink na lang din sila dyan. So, now that I know na pwede sila sa at least 3, the number 3, I will divide yung nasa taas at nasa baba sa 3. Basically, nila lowest terms ko yung fraction. So, this will just give me, instead of 21, magiging 7 na siya. This will be over and then this will be 12. Now, bakit ito helpful? Magiging helpful to kasi pag nagsosolve na ako using yung kabilang fraction, mas dadali yung buhay ko sa ratio rotation. Kasi yung 168 divided by 36 parang masyadong malaki. Tapos it times 21 mo pa. Pero ito mas manageable na siya. So now that uh, nakaganyan na siya, pwede na natin i-ratio rotation. Iikot ko lang siya like that. 168, di ba? Gagawin natin divided by 12 tapos times 7. So 168 divided by 12, again, we can just use yung nandito na. Okay, pag nagmamadali kayo sa exam. So now you have 1. Kasi 168 divided by 12, may isang 12 sa 16. So you have 1 and then 48 yung magiging, magiging kasundod na i-divide natin kasi may remainder yung 16 minus 12 na 4. So 48 divided by 12 is 4. Again, 14 na ngayon, tapos i-multiply natin siya ngayon sa 
7. So, 14 times 7 na lang. Okay? You can actually use yung long cut na 14 times 7 or kung gusto natin yung speed technique ng multiplication which I discussed in an earlier video, pwede kung i-times 10 na lang at saka times 4 para hindi ko na kailangang isulat like this. So, you have 70 plus 7, 14, 21, 28. So, that is 70 plus 28 or 98. Again, you can do it like this or you can do it like that. Pareho naman ang magiging sagot. 98 pa rin. Okay? So, ang mangyayari is we have our 2x squared is equal to tapos 98. Following rules na equality, iiwanan natin yung x sa kabilang side. So, ibig sabihin na nauna natin gagawin is to divide both by 2 para makancel itong 2 na yan. So, ang mangyayari dyan, may iiwan to na x squared and then equal siya sa 98 divided by 2 or 49. Now, x squared, para mawala naman yung symbol na yan, para mawala exponent na 2, is a square root ko both sides. Okay? So, this will be x is equal to, ano bang square root ng 49? And if you know your perfect squares, 7 times 7, okay, is 49. Okay? And ang rule natin sa radicals, kapag meron ng pares, pwede mo siyang ilabas sa payong. So, ibig sabihin nun, x is equal to 7. And that is the correct answer. Okay? So, uh, again, if you find na parang, wait lang, naiwan ako doon sa ibang mga techniques na inexplain, uh, there will be yung mga links doon sa mga ginamit kong techniques dito doon sa description box. Whether you use yung traditional method or uh, kung ano yung speed, mga speed math techniques natin, ang importante, you got to the correct answer. And even if you didn't, that's okay kasi I commend you for trying. And congratulations sa ating mga winners. This time, congratulations sa inyo. Uh, please be in touch with us. Uh, I-message nyo kami either sa Facebook page ng Team Laika or doon sa ating uh, Instagram accounts para makuha ninyo yung inyong uh, prize na load. Uh, just send us your number and uh, we will send you that load para magamit ninyo hopefully sa pag-aaral pa um, more dito sa ating online classes. Alright? Alright! Thank you so much for watching and again, if you want to join yung iba pa natin yung mga upcoming giveaways, don't forget to follow me on all my social media accounts. Uh, may winners tayo for each of them. So, you can join sa lahat para may more chances kayo of winning. And uh, again, if you haven't subscribed yet sa channel na to, subscribe na, hit that bell icon para hindi mo miss yung mga upcoming uploads natin. Marami pang paparating. And as we always see sa channel na to, never stop learning. Adja, adja. Kaya nga yan. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. If you answered our...